Okay. So, welcome to Stanford University, and the uh, the official tree of Stanford is something called the California redwood. So, the redwood has some distinct characteristics. Um, these trees can grow to as high as 200 feet in the air, but their roots only go down 11 feet. The height of the trees permits them to pull as much as 300 gallons of water um, a day from the fog that comes off the Pacific Ocean in order to provide water to their roots, even during periods when there um, is a drought. What you'll notice here is that these trees are very tall and they're very close to each other. So why this is possible is something called the family circle. So what will happen is if the tree feels threatened, it will shoot a root ball out and create another tree nearby that's actually another iteration of itself as a way to protect itself from harm. Other character, um, so these very large trees can exist near each other because um, of something called a family circle where they're literally one tree. Another aspect of this is that these trees will actually link roots uh, below the ground as a way to sustain each other when there are heavy wind uh, circumstances that come about. So this is an appropriate metaphor on kind of how Stanford University operates. Um, as you can see, Overlooking those trees is something called the Hoover Institute, and um, behind it, the, the art gallery. So, this gives you another look at what the university is about. You have these major trees in the form of brilliant professors, and their goal is to increase the number of folks with similar capabilities to them and grow that, that root uh, into a sustainable uh, knowledge equivalent. We're in the rainy winter time of a uh, season this year. We're having more rain uh, than there's been in about 20 years and this rain is ending the drought but it's also creating other problems with large trees falling and in danger etc. An example being you can see the trees leaning over here um, that are um, the ground has gotten so saturated that those trees are now in jeopardy of falling on top of these buildings. So uh, enjoy your view and the Stanford look at, at how and why the Redwood is in fact the school uh, tree.